Hey everyone, this is Samantha from Scrapmasters Paradise and today I'm going to do an auburn hair coloring and I have an image here. This is Anya Treats. It's one of the stamp sets from The Greeting Farm and they just had these released for one day only and I'm sure we'll see them again sometime down the line but they were just released one day only. I picked this one up along with one of the other ones, it's called Anya Celebrates, and I'll show this one in different videos. I'm trying a different um, setup here, so let me know if you think this video is a little bit better in quality or a little bit worse in quality than my last few videos with my new video camera. So for this auburn hair, I'm going to make it just a, a dark, um, bronzy, coppery color. And I've got four colors here. From lightest to darkest, I have E09, E19, E18, and E49. And the reason why I'm going to do the 19 for the 18 is because it's actually a little bit lighter. So it's actually a little bit out of order because the E's are a strange little group. But I'll show you, it'll look a little bit different. Okay, so I'm going to start with my E09. And I'm going to start just with her little hair here, and I'm hoping that the camera is at an angle you can still see this pretty good. We'll see. I'm just going to flick up to the line, but I'm not going to um, go all the way. I want to leave some of the white highlight. So I'll have some white showing through just a tiny bit, just to give it a highlight. That was E09, and the next one is E19. I'm going almost all the way to that same line. I'm going to make sure you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay, it looks good like you guys can see. And then the E18, which is actually darker than the 19 by just a little bit. You can see it's, it's darker. trying to do little strokes so you can see the hair. And then E49 is really dark, so I'm going to use this very sparingly. More so around the hairline from the hat than anything else, and maybe near the sides of her face. Okay, I've got that. You can see it's just starting to be a little bit Auburn. We'll start with this big section here. You can see it waves out in this kind of curvy shape. Oops. This is kind of a curvy shape here and I've got glitter everywhere. So if you see little specks of glitter, it's because I did a glitter project earlier. So where this part bumps out is where I'm going to have her highlight going across right there where the light would catch. So I'm just going to blend up to that line and leave a little bit of white there and try to do skinny strokes so we see lots of hair texture. Oops, that stroke really was not good. Let's see if we can cover up the mistake. And near her body, where her body would be shadowing, just color it all the way in. But you're not going to have that light hitting where her body is kind of in the shadow. Just color it in. We'll go ahead and do this section while we're working. And then we'll do that section next. Then the E19. See, I'm afraid my thumb might be blocking. I might have to move the camera around. It's just really coppery and bronzy. Again, I'm going to just color closer to her body. Okay, then E18. That's starting to pick up more of the brownish color mixed in. E18. 
E49, sparingly around here. A little bit under her arm blocks the light. And then in this part. Okay. And we'll turn it around and go from this side. Do the same thing. Got E09. I'm just going to fill in this whole part because this is going to be the darkest part here. I'm going to go just leave a teeny bit of white right down here along that same line. blend out that line I made when I was doing the smaller strokes. Okay, that's pretty good. And E19. You can see I went over the line right there, but I think I can blend that out when I'm coloring her face. That's one reason why I do hair first, because of all the strokes that you make, it's easy to go over the lines. At least for me, it's really easy to go over the lines. And E49, I'm just going to fill in the part around her neck. Do some longer strokes here at the top part. And fill in with tinier strokes too. That way you can see some of the strands going. And you get the depth with all the dark right there. As you can see, you zoom out just a little bit. It's starting to come together. Let's go and finish the other side and make it look symmetric. We can go ahead and do this part. I'm going to flip it again just so I do my strokes one way much better. I'm going to go and layer the same way with all the same colors because I want the same depth, the same tones coming out. These markers are a little bit translucent so each of the color layers builds on each other and you can see it looks a little bit different. E19 next. So I'm just using the same ones in the same kind of order so that the color looks the same. E18 that gives it the same layers as we got here. Go to E49 to do some filling in. I'm going to show some of the other through it. You can still see some of the lighter colors just at the very end here. About the same as you can see lighter colors right through here. There's glitter everywhere. It's sticking to my nail polish. Oh. Let's do this last little bit. We'll go from this direction. And this part's going to be mostly just like we did up here. So we'll start with E09. Just cover the whole thing. Just a bit, the E49. 
I do this in both directions, just little strokes, because the box is kind of blocking the light too. So you can see just in the middle some of the lighter color. Well, let's zoom back out and see how it all looks together. Right here I made a lot of the E49. I'm going to go back with my second to lightest color, which is the E18. I'm kind of go over those lines a little bit. I didn't like how bright they were compared to the rest, so I'm just blending it a little bit. I like that a little bit better. I st think it's still a little bit too dark, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring up my darker colors here. It's the E18. I'm just going to bring that up to the line more. So then it looks more in line with that darker part right there. That's it for today. Thanks for watching. Bye.